Hello students, welcome to IE. In this video, we are going to discuss a numerical on the diffusion capacitance of the diode. So let's get started and see the numerical. So in this numerical, what you can see, a silicon diode has been given, has a forward current of 1 milliampere. So the forward current of the silicon diode is 1 milliampere and the carrier lifetime is tau, that is 10 to the power minus 7 second. And the maximum diffusion capacitance of 1 nanofarad. So the diode is operating at a temperature of dash Kelvin. That means you have to temperature pe diode operate ho hai, usko aapko dunna hai. So let us first jot down what are the information that is given in this numerical. So the first thing that is given, you can see that the silicon diode has a forward current of 1 milliampere. So let us write the forward current as IF. So IF ka value kitna hai? IF ka value aapka 1 milliampere. Next, the carrier lifetime, aap dekh sakte hai, carrier lifetime given hai, that is given by tau. Tau is given as 10 to the power minus 7 second. Or the maximum value of the diffusion capacitance. So diffusion capacitance of the diode is given. And the CD value, that is the diffusion capacitance, here pe kitna hai? 1 nanofarad. 1 nanofarad. So mujhe kya dunna hai? We have to find the operating temperature of the diode. So now, if you remember the diffusion capacitance phenomena inside the diode, the diffusion capacitance phenomena CD was denoted by an equation that is tau into g. This was the main equation of the diffusion capacitance where tau is the carrier lifetime and g kya tha? What was g? g was the dynamic conductance of the diode. So G was the dynamic conductance of the diode which was equals to 1 by R and R was the dynamic resistance of the diode. R was the dynamic resistance of the diode and this R value is given by a simple equation. If you remember the R value was given by eta into Vt eta into Vt divided by If, divided by If. So this was the equation of a dynamic resistance of a diode and this reciprocal of this dynamic resistance is the dynamic conductance and this dynamic conductance into the carrier lifetime or minor carrier lifetime is give, given the, the diffusion capacitance. Now what is this Vt? Ye Vt kya tha? This was the thermal voltage. This was the thermal voltage or this thermal voltage was given by Kt by Q and generally we can write it as capital T by 11600. This was the thermal voltage where capital T is the temperature. If kya tha? Forward current. Eta kya tha? Eta was the ideality factor of the silicon jo mera given hai pe eta equals to 2. So, here pe eta bhi given hai. Here pe eta of silicon given at 2. So, this was the information that is given. Now, what we will do? We will put the value of this G here. Dynamic conductance ka value here pe put karenge. So, here se mein agar capital small G ka value nikalta hu, that is the dynamic conductance, it can be written as the reciprocal of this R, which is equals to IF divided by eta into Vt. Ye tha. So let's put this value here. So if I put this value here, to mera jo diffusion capacitance value hoga, wo to tau pehle se tha, ye g ho jayenge ye wala. So yahan pe mera forward current if a jayenge, aur yahan pe mera eta into vt. Ab, eta ka value given hai, kaun sa kaun sa value given hai dekhi hai, ye if value given hai mere paas, okay, ye tau value given hai, this eta value is given, this CD value is given. So from this equation, I can find the value of Vt. So let us find the value of Vt. So Vt ka jo value hoga, which is called as the thermal voltage. So its value kya honge? This value will be nothing but IF into tau 
divided by eta into the diffusion capacitance. This will be the value. Just ye wale CD ko niche le kar aaiye aur VT ko cross multiplication karke upper le ke jaiye. To VT value aa jayega. To IF value kya tha bhai? IF value aapke paas tha 1 milliampere. Just put the value. So IF value aapke paas tha 1 milliampere jisko mein ampere karunga aur likhunga mein 10 to the power minus 3. Aur tau value kya tha? Tau value was 10 to the power minus 7. So 10 to the power minus 7. Aur eta value kya tha? Eta value aapke paas 2 given tha. CD value kya tha? 1 nanofarad. So nanofarad ko mein farad mein convert karunga aur likhunga 10 to the power minus 9. Ab dekho kya value aya? So yaha pe 10 to the power minus 9, yaha pe 10 to the power minus 10. So, here I get 10 to the power minus 1 divided by 2, which is nothing but 1 by 20. Now, this Vt value is equals to 1 by 20. But, Vt value ka matlab kya hota hai? This one, yeh mera Vt value hai. Capital T by 11, 600. So, just put the value. So, capital T by 11, 600 is equals to 1 by 20. So, from this equation, I can find the value of capital T. Jo mera ye operating temperature hoga. So from this equation, if I want to find the value of capital T, it will be 11600 divided by 20. So if you calculate this, you will get the value as 2 to 1, 1 cancel out, uh, 0, 0 cancel out ho jayenge. To yaha pe aapka value aayega, 2 se isko divide karenge to 580. So the operating temperature has is right now the value of 580 Kelvin. So this is the operating temperature of the diode. So you can see how we can find the operating temperature value from the diffusion, this data, diffusion capacitance data, forward current data, minority carrier current data, minority carrier lifetime. So this is how we can calculate the value of this temperature for this given numerical. So hopefully you have enjoyed this numerical. And thank you for watching the video.